everyone, I'm Morgan. I'm Cruz. And this is our family channel, Torres Family Living. And today we have questions, husband and wife, or two husband and wife. Um, yeah, go ahead. Okay, you wanna read the first one or me? Go ahead, you read the first one. All right, who initiated the first kiss? Me. Yeah, I'd have to say so. Who apologizes first after a fight? Okay. I'd have to say even. Even. It, it, it used to be like when we were dating, it was like, I never wanted to apologize. I'm one of those people like, I'm right. I'm not going to apologize. I'm going like, to wait for her. But like now, like growing as a Christian and as a husband and like understanding like, you know, we need to like reconcile as soon as possible instead of like letting that anger build up. Who is the funny one? I'd have to say, I'm, I'm more goofy. Yeah, she's super goofy and like, she'll just do something like out of the way. Yours, yours is, like the whole dad joke thing, that's so me. That's you? Yeah. Yeah. I do a lot of, like, yeah. I do a lot of dad jokes. My sense of humor is like weird and like, I find stuff funny and, and, and I don't think other people find funny, but like, I mean, I crack jokes and I do funny things, but like, overall goofy person and like, I guess more of a personality wise is Morgan. You know, so yeah, I just be doing, I be doing weird stuff all the time. Okay, who is more romantic? <sighs> Kinda, not really anymore. Yeah, I'd have to say I'm more romantic. Who is more patient? Okay, so with each other, I don't know. Like, if it's just like me and him. I'd have to say like none of us, no. but when it comes to CJ, I'm more patient with CJ. It might be because I'm around him more, but Maybe. that's all right. I mean, but I've grown. we both learned a lot of patience. Yeah, I, I, be, I became better with my patience, and each day's a, a journey. I mean, you know, so, but and like in, and like I guess in public, like dealing with like lines and all that, I can be patient sometimes. It depends on Boy, the... I don't lie. No, I'm not lying. There's, there's time where I'm patient. And then there's time where I'm like, yo, these people need to hurry up. Like, I'm ready to go. You already read, like, three questions. Yeah, here, let me cross them out so you don't reread. But, yeah. I, I'm growing. <clears throat> Who is the better cook? It depends what we're cooking, though. Yeah, right. Better steak. Me. Who taught you how to cook eggs? Me. No, no, I'm just no. kidding. It's not that he didn't teach me how to make eggs. It's that he likes it a certain way. He likes a soft scrambled. Yes. With like extra butter. Yes. And like if it comes to like on the grill, like barbecuing, all me. Because you don't let me barbecue. You because automatically just take it up. Because like it's a dead thing. You know, like dads are always at the barbecue pit. Okay, okay, okay. I'll let you have that one. No, I'm a better cook, but you grill better. How about yes. that? Yes, yes. Yeah. I still have like three more to go, but you like you like right three of them. Okay. Seven, eight. Who said I love you first? Me. Her. Well, he knew I was going to say it. And like she was afraid to, but Parched. I took, yeah. He wouldn't, I had to go to work that day and he wouldn't let me leave because like, I, like I wanted to say it to him and he's like, you're not going anywhere. I already know what you want to say. I was like, well, if you already know what I'm going to say, then... Why are you gonna make Why yeah. are you gonna make me say it? And so I had to say it. And then like I remember looking at him, I'm like, uh, and he's like, yeah, I love you too. <laughs> and she like blush, and she like she's super easy, like super easy for me to make her blush, like so, you know, it doesn't take much, but I think it's cute. Okay, this is a simple one. I'm not I'm not being uh mean but this is just pretty much goes for any relationship not unless your man is like really wants to look perfect like for instagram or something but who takes longer to get ready she does i can get ready like in three minutes okay but you gotta you gotta think like it's makeup it's hair it's clothes it's the baby's hair no and no clothes. no this no, this is just including like <laughs> us two this ain't including cj yeah you can't, you can't okay, put CJ in. okay who is who is grumpier in the morning Proves. Morning, night, anytime I'm sleeping and I get woken up, I, I'm pretty much grumpy. Yeah, he's rude. I'm not gonna lie, straight up rude. I'd be like, be 
because when it comes to the baby a lot of times when he was younger like I did a lot of it of course he was bottle fed so we could both do it but he would t he would stay up for that 12 o'clock shift and then the other what was it like three more shifts till morning time two more about two Two, yeah. two to three depending on if cj woke up but if i really could not do it like i really just needed the sleep i try to wake him up he's so mean like last night cj got up and we both kind of have a rule now that no one wants to get up and do the whole baby routine by themselves i mean we can but it's just nice to do it together and everybody goes back to bed so last night i was tapping on i was like baby the baby the baby's awake and oh, man, he throws a whole blanket all the way across the bed. Oh, <laughs> you did. I know I did. But it's okay. And then he feels bad. He don't feel bad about it in the morning, but he's like, sorry. But that's that's the extent of it. I mean, at least I apologize though. I at could, least that. Yeah. yeah. But he is a grumpy old, grumpy old. Yeah, not even for the morning. Anytime I'm sleeping. Okay, who is more stubborn? He don't want to be. He don't want to be wrong. He don't want. He don't want to like ask for help. You don't, uh huh? Okay, first of all, like I said about the patience thing and all that, I'm growing. Everybody's a work in progress. So, I do apologize more, which is something I never used to do. I do admit when I'm wrong. I do that now. Sometimes. Every, sometimes. But, like, asking, asking for help, it was like, I've always been like that, where, like, I want to accomplish it myself or, like, you know, do it on my own type thing, you know? Until, like, I have, like, my ends with with it then i'll be like okay you can come and like give me a hand or something oh don't but get him don't even get him started on looking at instructions i look build at something. i read the instructions okay i do i, I guess you could say it's another dead thing we just don't just sound like we know what we're doing this is the social butterfly i was in high school i was very social in high school but when i was pregnant with cj i got into this little dark box and like, I didn't want to talk to nobody. I was like, ooh, nobody want to talk to me either. Like, so I just like shut myself out. And then I really noticed like, Cruz really sociable. So I would have to say it's Cruz, but then I'm kind of coming back to myself. Yeah. And like, and in general, like, it was like my friends that I'm social are with are all at church. Like that's our friends. Like that literally that's our friends. Like. Or as our church family. Mm -hmm. Like, we don't have any other kind of friends. And it's not that we don't, like, we're like, oh, we don't want to be friends, like, with people of the world. That's just who we choose to surround ourselves with. So we can, like, they can speak into our life and we can speak into their life. It's, it's a wholesome relationship. Yeah. Like, we wouldn't intentionally lead them astray and they won't intentionally lead us yeah, astray. But, but I'm not saying, like, you know, like, if I see a friend that I knew from high school and, you know, they don't go to church, I'm still going to speak to them, you know, and I'll, I'll still, like, be a you know, acquaintance with them, you know, like at a store or something. But that's why I'm like when she's me like I'm like social is like at church, like, you know, they they know we're not on social media. Hmm? I think they know that we're not on social media. Hmm? Do they know that we're not on social media? No. Oh, okay, never mind. We can edit that part out, sorry. How about they go into like how we don't be so like we're not social with like people that like on a daily basis. Oh, I don't care. Yeah. I don't care if they know. Yeah. Okay. We're not talking. Who spends the most money? Um. Okay. Let's go like separate. <laughs> we both spent our money very ignorantly when we were single. I'd have to say. Yeah. But then now that we're married, we were still making bad choices up until. We got financial coaching, which get financial coaching. You might be either like one ashamed of your finances your or debt. ashamed of your debt or scared about it or scared for someone to see it or for you to be vulnerable, but be vulnerable and get help. And get on a budget. Yeah, and get, get on a budget. Get on a budget. Like a budget for anything, a budget for groceries, a budget for your bills, your, uh, your, Spotify, or Netflix, Hulu, like see where you can like minimize your spending anywhere, like or even just see where, see where your money's going. You'd be like, okay, you say I can have forty dollars by the by the end of the week, but you don't really notice that that forty dollars by the end of the week went to coffee or snacks from the gas station. So 
get a, get on a budget, get yeah. financial coaching. It really helped you out. Um, but that really helped us out. Yes. Like we sat down with somebody from and, our church. Yeah, he was from our church and we just laid it all out there and then he looked at it and he was like, It's not even that bad. Y'all freaking out for nothing. And so now we're doing better and like I keep talking about a budget. We're uh actually got something coming up to where we're going to be cash stuffing yes. and um once we get that figured out we'd love to sit down and show y'all yeah, like sure. our budget because i know i always keep talking about a budget right mm -hmm. and so um we're right now we're not as strict as it was before we were getting into the house but now we're starting to get strict because we got we got things we want to do mm -hmm. like yeah, big we, things we have goals you know and goals. which is always good to set always i want to say always have goals to set because you're always going to like not be satisfied but set like a year ago like you know like on oh, a year i want to go on vacation oh in a year i want to do whatever it may be right mm -hmm. or not even that like you can do small like do a three month goal and then a six month goal yeah and then like but make sure like it's it's me like it's it's feasible to do it but one thing i wanted to get at was like like when she mentioned like we were single like when, when we was like are like not even single but like barely dating like i was still buying like expensive shoes like, like for a good while like even before i like i loved shoes i love spending money on shoes now probably and you know nice clothes and like all that and like she she makes fun of me sometimes she's like you don't even know how to dress anymore and i'm just like i don't really care anymore like i just i'm comfortable in what, what i'm in you know and like so and I, if i know i can save money now like that's really big and i wouldn't even say like our like who spends more because we come to each other with what we want to buy and like we're like hey can i buy this and like we'll, it's, it's not even in a mean way but like do you really want it Mm -hmm. And like so, that's you know that's one thing. And then our financial advisor always advises us to do the twenty four hour rule, where if you want something, or even a forty eight hour is when you want something, don't buy it. Go home and sleep on it for a day or two. And if you wake up in two days and you're like, I still want it, you know, like you actually really want it, go get it. But if not, if you don't even think about it, don't even go get it. Right. But if you really want to answer for the question, like who swipes the card more, it'd be me because I do the groceries, and then like household needs. Our Amazon order. Our Amazon orders, stuff like that. So it'd have to technically be me. Yes. So what's the next one? All right. Oh, I'm about to read the one you just read because we didn't cross it out. Cross it out. Who's the better driver? Me, I'm more cautious because, like y'all saw from our Tennessee videos, I don't drive. And I didn't drive while I was pregnant with CJ. And then after I was pregnant for CJ, but now I'm starting to drive like, not just around town, like I'm like taking the highways again. And um, so I'm the better driver, but Cruz drives more. Oh no, 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 no. Okay. You wanna talk about San Antonio? Okay, first of all, okay, first of all, I've never been in a wreck. You haven't been in a wreck. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Came don't, close. Don't enter, wait, wait, wait. Never been in a wreck. Secondly, what she's about to mention when we we evacuated to San Antonio, right? And there was like a five way, a five lane highway, right? I will put on my blinker to merge into the middle lane. I looked, and then when I was moving over, this Mustang decided to come speeding up and come into the middle lane. He almost hit us, so I'm not at fault for that. So she's like, "He would have got us in the wreck." Like, no, I put on my blinker. I went into the middle lane. I looked before I went, and he came speeding and like try to like cut in like between where he was at and my lane so never been in a wreck not my fault she's like and she said she's a, a better driver cautious. cautious driver she really is because like especially like backseat driver or passenger driver she's like watch out do this blah, blah. And i'm just like yo you're freaking me out more than anything <laughs> so but overall i say we're both good drivers because we neither been in a wreck not gonna win Who's the most attractive? <laughs> yeah, right. My wife. <laughs> my husband. Look at that smile. It's look. the tattoo was for me. Uh -uh, look at that smile. How many tattoos you got? Uh, I think like 13, 14 tattoos. I think. I, I probably exaggerated. I don't know. Let me count. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How do I think? My brother, my brother has that many tattoos. Junior has like 15 tattoos. So I have one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight. You're my brother. I just counted that one. Oh, okay. I thought that was one. I started one, two. Oh. Yeah, I have eight. I have three. Yeah. 
but no. No, like, I'm not just attracted to his tattoos. No. But I think he's overall he's so like her personality is beautiful. She's Aww. beautiful. Like her smile, her her eyes, like they change colors and like I don't know, I hate that. I hate that like against her because like my eyes are just like poopy brown color. No, my and son has his eyes. I have like I have poopy brown eyes. And then like so I'm jealous of her for having colored eyes that change. So but overall my wife is very attractive. Oh, thank you. Well you have a cute smile, baby. I don't like so when I smile You're like so like we're just talking, I smile with my teeth, but like for pictures I always smile like <laughs> she hates it. Okay. Well, I think you're the most attractive. Who is the better singer? Me. I'm the better rapper. <laughs> he just knows how to rap fast. I don't know how to rap at all. It's not my. Yeah. I listen to it, but it's not my yeah. genre to. Don't get me wrong. Like I can't write my raps or anything. I'm not like like lyrically talented like that. But like keeping up, like rapping with songs, I'm 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 decent. Like Andy Minio. Yeah. Or like anybody, KB or somebody, mm -hmm. but I can like keep up with them. But overall, better singer. She has a very actually beautiful voice. But she gets shot and like she's like, stop! Don't tell me that. And like, but like she's she's a good singer. I used to love when she used to sing CJ to sleep. So. Oh, you listened? Yeah. What I sing? You sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. You're on the sunshine. And let's get a marinka deep. <laughs> it's something we just picked up from Coco Melon, like. You know, so what is each other's nicknames? I call him Chicken Nugget. I just call her Baby. Yeah, it's mostly Baby. We hardly call each other by first names. If it's first names, it's kind of like ugly, ugly stare or something important. It's either something important or an ugly stare because you call me by the no, wrong name. No, because a couple of days ago she's like Cruz. I'm like, that's not my name. But she used to tell me all the time when I used to be like Morgan. Yeah, that's not my name. But it's not. Yeah, so it's my legal name. She, I don't know why, but she she ended up calling me Chicken Nugget, and I just call her Babe, Baby, Wife, my love. No, like while we're dating, oh, you we're call dating? me a nickname. I don't really remember. Flamingo Head. <laughs> so there's a <laughs> there's a picture. <laughs> There's a there's a picture of I think I was at Awana's or something church related when I was younger, and it was like a family family group night, and your girl over here, hair much like this, with the flamingo, <laughs> to her forehead, <laughs> right in the middle of my forehead. So like I like I was just like flamingo head. And then like it's kind of just stuck. It just stuck. So anything, anytime like we see like a flamingo or yeah, something flamingo, flamingo we we laugh about it. But yeah. I'm not gonna pull that picture up either. Ooh. So it's what is each other's favorite cereal? So you answer for me. Cruz's favorite cereal is peanut butter Captain Crunch. Okay, so she's like she has like she has like different cereals she she likes. Okay, so like, she likes Apple Jacks, and then she likes, uh, what is that? The Mix, something Mix cereal. Um, I can't remember the first name of it. You know, Mom used to like it. Um, it's like a kind of like healthy cereal. It's not Cheerios. Raisin Bran. Raisin Bran. I don't know why I want to call it Mix. But yeah, Raisin Bran. She does like Cheerios though too. I like the that cinnamon Cheerios yeah. and it's got like oatmeal grains on it too. Mm -hmm. She likes it. Oh, I tore that up when I was pregnant. Yeah, but I, I like to sacrifice the top of my mouth to eat peanut butter Captain Crunch. You know, it's great for the top of your mouth. But my, my favorite like fruity cereals are, I have to say Fruity Pebbles. Uh -huh. Ooh. Okay, what is two things each other is good at. So for Cruz, I have to say he's good at being a provider for our family. And he's good at about leading our family to Christ or like being the the leader of the home and putting that structural foundation in our home of of being a God-fearing man. So that'd be the two things. Mm -hmm. First and foremost, and like, I know it's like cliche and cliche, but like she's a great wife and mother to our son. So like that's like a two-on-one thing. 
So like, I'm, but yeah, so I'm very grateful for that. That like, she like takes care of me, like emotionally, like, uh, like eating wise, like having a clean home and then like, you know, so I'm very grateful for that. And then grateful that she does the same thing for CJ. Like she loves him unconditionally. Like she'll lay down her life for him, you know? So like, I love that about her. And then also that like, she like prays for me. This is like the second answer. That she prays for me, she uplifts me, she encourages me to like conquer my fears. Like being a 26 year old man, you're like, what fears do you have? But I do, I have fears. So like, you know, she's just always trying to motivate me to do more like in work and life and being a dad and you know, being like a follower of Christ. So like, it's very good to have that like coming from your wife. Like, you know, someone that like, she shows that she actually cares about me, so. Aw, cause I do. You're so cute. Not my turn. Okay. What is your favorite cake flavor? Oh, you guess, you say mine and I say yours. His is chocolate. I love cake. <laughs> love cake. What's my favorite kind of cake? You can you can say the event. Okay, so our friends Sarah and Ron. No, no, just say the event. Like I love wedding cake. Oh. Yeah, and when? Bu bu buttercream. No, oh, <laughs> birthday cake. Birthday cake, my bad. I love I like birthday bu cake and I love wedding cake. They have that is way different than popping open somebody Crocker. Okay, but what I was getting at was our friends that got married at the beginning of the year. Uh, they had. A cookies and cream wedding cake, mm -hmm. and it was delish. And like, I'm not a real big fan of like cake. Sometimes, like, I'm very. She's like, birthday party wedding cake. I'm there. I'm cake. there for yeah. the cake. So, but for me, yeah, chocolate, I guess. And like, I don't know. I'll just eat a little piece and I'm done. Like, you know. So, like cupcakes aren't my favorite. I'll eat them, but they're not the same as a slice of cake. Don't get me started. There's a difference. <laughs> What was your first impression of me? You go first. And what was your first impression of me? I'm thinking back to the day. Okay, so we met in a tattoo shop. I was there with my sister, but my sister was in the group, in the group of friends that he was in. So it was like the group of friends, my sister, then me. And so he walked in. I was like, excuse me. I was like, ooh, ooh he's <laughs> cute. And then I was like, whoa, he's out of my league. But that was my first impression. I was like, dang, he good looking. And I was like, he's out of my league. For me, like, not that I'm out of his league. He's out no, of mine. No, but okay. So like, we literally like, I literally spoke to her <laughs> for like three to five minutes. Like we was like waiting to get our tattoos. We was all day together. So like. And like she had like really blondish hair at the time, and like I was like, and then her eyes, and then like she like barely had any makeup on, and then like for me that was like a big plus. Like she doesn't, she didn't need makeup like to like feel like she's beautiful, but like to me I like she's beautiful just like that. So like I don't know, and then like she was goofy, and I loved her laugh, you know, because I made her laugh. So I don't know, it was just like it was like we saw each other, made me laugh for like. Point three seconds, and we never spoke to each other again until we met. Till I messaged him. Well, I added her on Facebook, and then she initiated to message me. Yeah, I don't do that type of thing. I was single as a Pringle, but I didn't. I didn't message first, but I did. And now look at me. I got game. <laughs> game of. Okay. Hey, don't I know you? Yeah, that's what I said. I said, I said don't I know you? <laughs> so much game. Would you rather fail or never try? I'd rather fail. I'd rather fail too. But you know what? You learn from your mistakes. That's right. That's what they tell me. That's what the guy I work under at my job tells me. He goes, you're never going to learn how to fix it until you fail at it. So, like, but I have a fear of, like, messing up at work. But I want to, like, be super good. Even though, like, I'm barely, like, three years into my into my career. Um but he's like, look, the only way you're going to learn how to fix it or learn what to do is for you to mess up and to fail at it. Then once you learn, you're like, ah, oh, I know what I did wrong. So, like, I, think, I feel like that applies for anything in life. Yeah. Like cooking, anything, any kind of job, you know. You're right. So, that's like a, a good thing from the guy I work under. He's just always like, dude, it's okay to mess up. As long as you don't do it too much. 
But yeah, your favorite memory. While we were dating. First. Mm. Us going to the fair. The fair is coming up. Um, on, I think this Friday weekend. on the twentieth. Yeah, the twentieth. Whenever the twentieth is. And we get to bring our baby. Yeah, his first time at the fair. Yeah, mine would have to be us going to the fair. We got like a caricature, and so we always have that moment and how we looked. I was much thinner then. Me too. I actually had a neck. You still look good though. <laughs> but yeah, like we just pig out. What's your favorite memory? I would have to say like besides the fair, like really like when we went to the fair was like our first dates like castle lady popeyes like you know just like i still have the receipt from when we went to popeyes yeah i doodled on it we have like a little like memory shoe box, box memory box and put it in there what food reminds you of me vegetables <laughs> no, i'm just joking but she does eat a lot of vegetables <laughs> so when you look at vegetables Oh, that's my baby. That's Look at that head of broccoli. <laughs> she likes that. <laughs> <laughs> I just that is so weird. <laughs> no, uh, uh, like pasta, like Italian food, mm. because like I know she loves it, and like she probably mentioned before, she always tells me I need the buffs on the videos. No, I do not like pasta. No, I do not like spaghetti. No chicken alfredo. No none of that. I'll pass. Give me a, a steak. I'm right. a poor schmuck. All right, cheeseburger. Oh, I'd yeah. have to say Pasta. steak reminds me of you. Yeah. I, I'm a steak eat in full. Like, I can eat steak every day. <laughs> Who laughs more? Me. She does. I'm goofy. Uh, like her, but her laugh is contagious. Like It's loud. Like, like my dad. <laughs> we used to live with my parents. <laughs> We're going to be laughing at my dad every day like, <laughs> he just be looking like he don't make me laughing. Like at first he thought it was funny, but then after a while he was just like, he'll be like, he just shake his head, but he'll smile. But yeah, she'll she'll laugh more. Like I like I said, I have like a weird sense of humor. So like, what I find funny, most we don't find funny. So like, I really don't laugh. But that's it, guys. That's gonna that's all our questions. That's gonna that's wrap it up. Thirty two questions. Thirty two questions. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed it. I'm glad to be in the video. And that can get a little overview of me, I guess. I know Morgan talks about me, but most of the time she's just like, he hates vegetable, he hates this. So it's like, geez, I'm just getting like rapid fire bad rap on me. So, nah. Nah, but. They love you. Yeah, I don't know. The only time that I get like good credit in the video is like when I barbecue. Oh. All right, guys, that's it for today. Ready to go? Yeah. Let's go.